it's a quick video just showing uh, a quick update on my uh, silver dollar my possibly world's oldest silver dollar did a video a while ago and uh, quite a few people asking about this guy now I've had this guy for well over 20 plus years I estimate him to be at least 26 27 years old and uh, he's still going strong he's been in this uh, tank for about nine ten years and he's been in three other tanks before this uh, it's a very rare mylosoma rather than the common silver dollar and he lives in here with his cows in this community tank um, the tank is kind of reaching its full capacity but the way I gauge it is that all the fish get on there's no fighting they're all healthy they all have a great time together um, the main reason the tank seems to be getting a little crowded is because of this guy this guy is huge. He is over 20 inches long and he's still growing. Uh, some sort of African tilapia. But for a fish of this size, he's got an incredibly good temperament and keeps himself to himself. But he's no doubt boss of the tank. This guy is huge and he's got a pal over here. As you can see, similar breed. This one's actually a uh, Mozambique mouth brooder and this guy's growing very very fast so as these two guys keep growing I may have to look at rehousing them but for now this is a tank this is the, these are the guys they're all happy as you can see it's a mixture of other cichlids in here we've got Jack Dempsey's we've got some Spillums we've got a couple of uh, oddballs by themselves like uh, a barna shark a couple of catfishes a little bit of a variety in there. But as you can see, they're all quite happy and healthy, good colouring. Um, they're quite active right now because I haven't fed them for two days. I gave them a little bit of staff. I find from experience it's good to give the fish every now and again a couple of days with no food just to keep them hungry and active. But it seems to work for me.